So today we're talking about how much money do you need to start trading and investing with? Now, if you don't know me, this is your first time on one of my videos. My name is Tila Holcomb. Uh, my name is Tila of TilaHolcomb.com, and I teach burnt out employees how to trade their nine to five in the stock market. Today, we're talking about how much do you need to even get started, right? Because I, I know that's one of the concerns when um, you're starting to learn how to trade and invest. You're thinking you don't have enough money, or you're not even really sure how much you should start with. So how much you need to start trading and investing with is going to depend on a few things. One, it's going to depend on uh, where you open your account, where you open your account for trading and investing is going to determine how much you need because some brokers may have a limit or a specific amount that you need to open your account with. And then um, some are not. Uh, there are some boutique or what we call, um, I call them boutique or discount uh, investment accounts or apps nowadays where you can um, trade or invest on and they require no money to open up or maybe $5 to open up your account. So um, if you're opening with one of those, like say Stash or Robinhood, that's some of that's a couple of those discount or boutique firms uh, that require you to open with no money or five dollars or take five dollars to buy a stock with. OK, um, those are going to require less money or less investment on your part because they are the advantage with them is that they buy bulk shares and they will sell them to you um, at the same price. But you can buy like fractions of a share with them. So if it's a hundred dollar stock, you don't have to fret about have about not having a hundred dollars to put into it or not having five hundred dollars to buy five shares. OK, you can take a hundred dollars and they will give you a fraction of a share so you can get started on a smaller scale with those type of um, services. Um, if you're starting with a different uh, brokerage firm that's not a boutique or a discount firm like Stash or Robinhood, you might want to check with them and see what are their um, minimum balance requirements because they're kind of like a bank account. Not they're like a bank account, but like banks, they have minimum requirements. Some do, but a lot of them are moving to the point where you don't have to have a minimum balance or you don't have to have a set amount to open with. They say you can open with zero um, in the account. And start learning and, and deposit later okay um, there it's also going to depend on whether you're trading or investing now I always say it's important to know the difference between trading and investing and know which one or both that you plan on doing because that's going to determine how much money you're going to need to get started with so if you are deciding to trade you are for one, going to have to determine, are you day trading? Are you swing trading? What kind of trading you're doing? Because it's going to determine how much money you need. If you are day trading, day trading is going to require a larger amount of money to get started. Day trading requirements are um, require you to have a balance of uh, $25,000 $25, minimum in your account. Because if you're buying and selling multiple times a day, they have um, they peg you as a... Um, pattern day trader and require you to have that minimum balance in order to make multiple trades a day. So that's something to be aware of if you're planning on being a day trader. Now day trading is not something that I do or that I teach, but if that's something you are wanting to do, then you're going to make sure you're going to have to make sure you have the $25,000 or they're going to limit you. Um, once you reach it's three to five trades a day, once you hit that limit and you don't have $25,000 in your account, then you're going to have a freeze on your account, meaning you can't um, buy or sell anymore for a certain amount of time until they until the cycle is up. If you are doing swing trading or um, trading where you're buying one day, selling a couple weeks or, or a month later, your requ your uh, requirement or balance requirement is not um, set on anything. So you could have a thousand dollars in there and be just fine. They're not going to say you're over trading or anything like that. Um, 
if you're investing, you could start with um, a lot less than if you were day trading as well. So with investing, you could start with again with as little as five dollars on some of those uh, discount or boutique apps such as Stash and Robinhood. But if you are um, wanting to start with some of the other accounts, you're probably going to need to start with at least a hundred dollars, depending on the type of stocks that you are buying and selling. If you are buying and selling um, higher priced stocks, then you're going to have to have more money in your account. But if you're starting with $100, $200, then you want to look at stocks that cost a lot less so that you can buy enough of them, enough shares of that stock to make a difference or to make it worth your while and to pay, you know, make it worth the commissions that you'll have to pay. Um, and back to the swing trading and, and just regular uh, trading. If you're doing that, what I recommend for what I teach my students in Trader 95 is that you um, they start with no more than three thousand dollars, no more than three thousand, and they're not using more than half of that at a time. That has several reasons behind it. One is so that you don't lose all your money, because I know that's a really big fear for a lot of people is losing all of your money. You don't want to um, you don't want to lose it all. You've worked hard for it, and you don't want to lose it all. I get it. Uh, so that's why I tell them, um, no matter what they start with, even if they start with $1,000, never use more than half at a time, meaning never take more than $500, say we're starting with 1000 never take more than 500 of that. If you're trading, you're trading and you're starting with $1,000, you're not going to take more than 500 of that and go and buy shares of stock for trading. You can buy $250 here, you can buy $250 here, but never more than $500. Because if something were to happen in the market where um, a crash or a, a blip in the system where everything went down for a while or went in the opposite direction of what you were um, buying or selling, then you only lose what was what you had invested. You don't lose all of it. So if you ever hear people say they lost everything in the stock market, that is because they had everything in the stock market, okay? And then something tragic happened. So that is one thing that I advise like that don't do that. Don't you put all of your money out there because if something happens, all of your money is gone, okay? But by doing half, you by only using half at a time if something were to happen you still have the other half to get started with or to come back in you know to get back into the game with so that's why we never want to use more than half at a time okay so um again if to know how much to get started with is going to depend on your brokerage account that you're starting with it's also going to depend on your style of trading that you're planning on doing whether you're trading or excuse me what your style or what your your goal is to trade or invest then if you're trading it's really going to depend on whether you're day trading or you're doing some more um, longer term trading and then investing are you going to want to do the smaller price stocks or higher price stocks because then that's going to determine how much you need to get started with because if you are starting with a hundred dollars with investing you can't go out and buy google which is a ridiculous amount okay <laughs> so you can't go out and buy a i know one chipotle you can't get started with a hundred dollars and buy chipotle um right out of the gate because chipotle is four hundred dollars okay so you're gonna have to uh, be mindful of what you want to buy and how much it's going to take to you know get started as far as the brokerage service is concerned um again with stash and robin hood they will allow you to buy fractions of shares so in that instance it may not be that big of a concern if you only have a hundred dollars they'll sell you a fourth of a Chipotle share okay so um, that's if they have it available I'm not saying they have it available you'd have to check on that but if they did they would sell you a fourth of a share which is a hundred dollars worth right okay um, so that's <laughs> that's how you would determine how much money you need to get started the brokerage account requirements and the style of trading or investing that you plan on doing and the stock that you plan on buying okay so if you like this video or you want to see more information from me about trading and investing, please give me some likes on Facebook, on Instagram, head on over to my, um, my profile, click the link in the, uh, in the bio to get started with learning, um, share this with a friend or share my profile with a friend and don't forget to subscribe, hit the subscribe button on my page so that you get notifications of when I go live next so you don't miss all of this valuable information and be able to start growing your financial legacy as well 
have your financial glow up this 2017 okay <laughs> so um i will see you guys on the next live broadcast bye